All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Old Moon Podcast, episode 54, right? 54? 55. 55. 55. <laughs> Bro, the weeks are blurring together. I tell you, the they weeks really are. are blurring together. And I mm-hmm. will say that Jay Coon went above and beyond for the art this week. I think the art this week looks incredible. Um, <laughs> like, I, I I think it looks awesome. Like, I just absolutely Muscle love mommy. it. Mm-hmm. I don't know about this art. Regular art? Uh, oh, well. This is normal yeah. art, okay? This is not <laughs> normal, 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 not art. as sexualized. <laughs> this what do you dude mean? literally... <laughs> You want me to bring up the previous art? I'll bring up the previous art while we're talking. That's so fine. Good. I'm your host, the Blue Garmo Squadron. Too. Joined, as always, by my co-hosts. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll start with Blonde Bear. Go ahead. Hello, it's me, Blonde Bear. I love to party. <laughs> bro, you got to get Yo. your intro. To, bro, we got we to gotta work on your intro game, man. We, we, yeah, we'll I'm get the, there. I'm the natural YouTube comment hated, you know? <laughs> Yo. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're going to talk all about it. It's going to be great. Um, and my boy, Jaycoon. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jaycoon VT, V before the T. I want to make it a wisdom main with 765 gear score. I do a lot of end game content such as Olin's Valley, the dungeon, the Ulakita. I've been recently playing this game called Content Warning, which has a similar vibe to Lethal Company. And you basically turn off film text some serious stuff and UWU. upload it to um, this thing called SpookTube to go viral. And yeah, it's been fun. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Jaycoon VT, V before the T. Right on. Okay, go. yeah. So honestly, the first thing we're <laughs> going to talk about intro. are the. See, that was a good intro. See, I don't have to add <laughs> anything to that. He just nailed it, right? Um, <laughs> I will ahead. say. So let's talk about the comments from the previous week and how right I was um, for just like two seconds. <laughs> because oh, I really? knew from the moment <laughs> that Blonde Bear opened his mouth, it it was crazy, bro. Honestly, the really comments the got so have? savage. Blonde, how'd you feel about the comments? I loved it. I think uh, I think you do a very good job of audience capturing specifically new players. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I feel like they're okay. I think I think a lot of people get me wrong. I feel really bad for the people that are like blonde bear l take oh he wants it to be hard because he had it hard okay i didn't have it hard i had a really easy go of it actually there's people that are like oh you know he knew what it was like to grind 20 mils he wants everybody else to grind 20 no i don't i love catch-up mechanics i love new players i want new players in this game i just think that when you play a hardcore grindy mmo it kind of needs to be a hardcore grindy mmo and i like that aspect and that's what i'd like to stick to and it's my opinion whatever but I, I love, uh, what did I just listen to? Blonde Bear, who hurt you, bro? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Player Blonde sentiment Bear. like Blonde Bear is why many MMOs in the subsequent communities <laughs> die off, which is, I, I, in some portions I could agree, in some cases, for some games, in others, making it too casual is what killed the game. So Not too casual, sorry. Changing the game fundamentally is what killed the game. I, I think it can go either way. Games have different histories depending on their changes, but I love the comments. I thought that was fantastic. Yeah, most of these comments are just flaming Blonde Bear, and I was laughing the whole time. Blonde was probably Same. not laughing, but holy moly. I was moly. dying laughing. Yeah. I was dying it's... laughing until I got to the bottom, and you see, like, the most dumb, thumbs-down posts that are like, listen, guys, why is everybody hating on Blonde Bear? Or, oh, I kind of <laughs> understand Blonde Bear's opinion because of this, this, and that, but maybe it needs to be stated a better way. And I'm like, oh, okay, some people kind of get me. I Okay, that's cool. But... I get it. I, I If I was a new player and I heard some guy that's been playing the game since the launch saying the shiz I'd say, I'd probably be mad at him too. I'd be like, I want to get into this game. Why does this guy not want me to get in this game? It's just perspective. I just think it's the perspective and that's okay. It is what it is. I don't I, need them to like me. It seems like we got a lot of engagement. Maybe we should do this more. Yeah, yeah honestly, it got more views than most of the other podcasts. <laughs> Thanks, Blonde. Maybe you should come in with a hot take. And I say you because Jay and I don't want to do that. Um... Listen, I, I, this, this is not this is not fake. This is exactly how I feel. I am I am 100 percent true though. I play video because I I want to grind tons Yo, of hours and make a bunch of money. I, that's why literally why I accidentally sent you a screenshot of RuneScape because I'm playing RuneScape because RuneScape has this like constant cool exp grind or, or working at this grind. Like I've been playing a lot of games like that. I don't know if I'm becoming a boomer or what. I, I don't know what it is. I think I'm I'm transitioning to a new state of my life where maybe I just like this kind of stuff. It's like some weird torture. I don't know. 
<laughs> well, regardless of what it is, I appreciate your hot takes, Blonde. I just know when it comes out of your mouth how good of content this is going to be in the comments. I can just, the second that it, moment it leaves your mouth, I can already hear the birds singing in the comments. It feels so good to me. I love it. Um, it's my favorite. Uh, all right, so we have a lot to talk about today, and Blonde Bear is going to have the hottest take of the century on the Karma System nerf, I am sure. Let's get opinions on this. Before anyone else speaks, can we get the raw, unadulterated opinion? Blonde, how do you feel about the Karma nerf system coming into the game? For those of you that don't know what's happening on the Global Labs right now, there is a Karma nerf uh, in uh, in that... Oh, wait, did it come to live yet? I don't think it's live it's yet. It's in Korea. So it's, in, yeah. it's live in KR, but it's on the Global Labs right now. Hmm. Um, and yeah. so essentially, it will take you five times as long to get your Karma back right mm -hmm. um once it's gone uh mobs will give you way less karma per mob uh and then also i think your level also has a lot to do with it too or something uh as well so like you can't go to an alt they're trying to prevent you from just like switching to a karma alt grinding your karma back at like desert fogans and then swapping back to your main and doing it again uh essentially and you can also go to negative 10 million karma negative instead of million, just yes. a million mm -hmm. yeah so if you're if you're gonna go negative on someone you can really pay the price for it essentially uh blonde how do you feel about this um i i don't know why i well <clears throat> i i don't <laughs> he's just trying to look at him look it's, at him it's, he's, it's, I don't, it's he's like weird. i don't know which one's the hot take hold on <laughs> it, it's kind of weird because like I feel like if they're just gonna make it so that there's no point to go red or PvP or flag up Then like why not just remove flagging from the game at that at this point like even PvPers I've seen the sentiment of like why don't they just remove flagging make half the channels Arsha and then like let some channels be open free PvP and some not be like I feel like That's the sentiment but at the same time I get like some of the allure coming to the game is the flag that you, is the point that you can flag up at any time the the fact that you can just flag up and grab a friend and mess with them or whatever. The fact that you can do those things and removing that sort of core essential part, I think, is they're scared to like completely remove it. Um, I don't know if it was needed or necessary. The fact that you have to grind for like what two straight days to get your karma back, and you can go to like negative ten million, I think they said or something. I thought that was wild. Mm -hmm. I just feel like there's better ways to change the system to make players that want to PvP be on a PvP server versus people that don't want any of that stuff to not. But then, like, I don't know, it depends on what side of the, the thing you're on. If you're the guy that just only has a few hours to grind a day, and you go to a spot, and some dude's, like, you know, going in your spot, and you can't flag up or move him, yeah, you're going to have to channel swap. Okay, if you're on cooldown, and another guy's there, it's like, okay, I can't grind, so I can't even flag on the person and kill them. Or you're the guy that is going there, and um, someone comes into, you know, you're the guy going into someone else's spot and trying to grind, and now they can't flag on you, so, like, because they're going to lose massive amounts of karma. Like, depending on what side of it on, you're, you're kind of, like... <laughs> You gotta feel some type of way, but I, I don't know if it's a W thing. I just feel like there's better ways that they could have done this. Um, it's kind of weird. I mean, I'm sure people are gonna like it, the fact that, you know, red players stay red or whatever, but I feel like they could just completely change the system, and that would probably be more healthy for the game, right? If you push people that want to have that overworld sort of aspect of any time action can happen, you can move, like, half this the channels to like an Arsha style where you can flag them and there's no penalty or whatever. And the people that don't want to deal with any of that, which is quite a lot of players can have half of the channels that have nothing to do with that. I think that that's, I think that that would be an okay compromise. And just PVE and PVP servers, like just yeah. Yeah. Half. Like you have heart Arsha where you can flag up and kill and there's no penalty or whatever. And then on the other stuff, you just have non flagging channels where you can't PVP and you just, yeah, I guess you would essentially grind over people, but that's the that's what some people want. Some people don't want flagging in the game or whatever. That's the penalty of dealing with that kind of system. It's like flagging is a good and a bad thing. It has it kind of goes both ways, so it depends. Um. Okay, Jay, I'm curious what your thoughts are. I'll give my thoughts last on this. I mean, this is definitely going to change... Um... Like and discourage people from going negative karma even more so on top of all the penalties already and for listeners who are unaware of the penalties like some big ones to make note of is multiple active crystals can break from pvp gear can also downgrade an enhancement level if you die in pve light stones can also break in pve and I, I believe you can also not use the tagging system or rather like you can't like item copy or something like that um so there's so many downsides and yet I, I didn't I didn't realize that there were still, you know, players willing to harass, harass others, that the karma system is yet again receiving even more downsides, uh, downsides. and despite that, um, there's still people who, like, want to go red on purpose, and which kind of, like, makes me wonder, like, what, what makes red players, like, so appealing? Because in the past, didn't it, like, 
the was thrill it like, of the sort of hunt. like a novel thing to be the a red thrill. player <laughs> it's interesting but yeah i don't as for whether this is good for the game or not i mean i'm you know as someone who played an awakening witch for five years and dueling was not really my strong suit so you know the karma system was you know going right was not the most appealing to me and so i kind of i personally kind of brushed this off like i thought it was like non content for me <laughs> as a pve player so that's kind of my my take on it is that okay i see it over there i'll just continue over here with my pve stuff so i mean yeah i mean this kind of content um kind of affects everybody and i'm curious what the pve like the pure pve lords thought um about like the karma mm -hmm. changes like this my guess was that you were going to be mainly in favor but really like kind of skeptical overall kind of exactly what blonde said i just um, like i care like how often jay do you and i run into people on a server that we wouldn't just swap off of at the spots that we go to like if you yeah, see a person that's not already grinding you just yeah. swap right <laughs> i don't think i've had an issue of like pvp flagging or anything like that and, and I don't know how long. I, I I immediately default to the option to switch channels or find another spot. And I don't know if that's just mm -hmm. my mindset because, um, like, I just don't care for it and I don't want to waste my time versus, like, you know, I don't it know. Has I'm, also, I'm, it's a... um, I was sorry, I was going to say it has no, also, um, like, PA has been in that direction of just, you know, tower spots, like, all the Tekia spots are kind of tower spots. And, right. and that's kind of like what I've been grinding mostly lately is just Tekia spots. And so it right. doesn't really incentivize trying to take another person's spot because there's just one spot for everybody. So, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think that red players in general, I don't think that it really affects actual red players at all. Uh, uh, currently, because they, they're already red, they they live the red lifestyle right. anyway, so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter to them um, how long it takes them to get their karma back. This is basically uh, a targeted nerf towards people who are, again are harassing players. It's it's another nerf. Like you're again mm -hmm. you're, you're okay. trying to attack players that are like, harassing players that are just like coming after. Like they they flag and they run people down. Mm -hmm. Now, gotcha. whether or not it was actually required, I actually don't think so. Um, in this case, and normally I'm Mr. Pro new player, pro everything. I don't really care um, that the, the karma system is being changed. I never go red on karma, but I will say that like I felt like the punishments that were there before were kind of enough um, to kind of deter people in the first place. This mm -hmm. will definitely be more than enough to deter people from trying to enter into like, like, like flagging on enemy players. But like, let's just call a spade a spade here. They don't want open world PVP anymore. Like they, it's very obvious that they don't want you to be able to flag on other players in the open world that is outside of a GVG, right? Outside of yeah, like a declaration of mm -hmm. war between two guilds, which they seem to be totally fine with. They do not want you flagging on other players. So instead of constantly making, like we're, we're heading towards this system. We all know it's coming. They're just gonna remove open world flagging. That's what it feels like. But like, I feel like they're stuck in a position right now where the game is actually fundamentally not good enough PVE wise that they can remove open world flagging and not right. lose part of their player base. They still 100%. have to, they still have to add like a bunch of PVE content to the game that is end game content that makes everybody super happy. That kind of takes the focus off of PVP in the end game. Cause right now our end game is still PVP. Let's just be honest about it. Um, they still have to add like meaningful end game PVE content or group PVE content like raids, dungeons, etc. Um, if they want to remove open world flagging from the game, because otherwise removing open world flagging is going to make a lot of people angry for good reason. Um, but like, it's pretty obvious that they want to do that at this point. I'm not sure that the karma nerfs, like I did, how often do you see someone flag up on your rotation? Like even I don't have real issues and people hate Only me. Only on our show. Um, like no, like Arsha. yeah, on Arsha, yeah, but that's Arsha. You asked for it. Right. Um, I, no, I yeah, do, one hundred percent. I do sincerely think that like they should just like fix the system one way or another. The open world PvP system needs to be fixed one way or another. Like this, this ability to flag on any player anywhere, uh, all the time, it's just outdated and it just won't work. I would much rather have the system from New World, or I would much rather have the system from World of Warcraft, where like 
like you have to challenge people to duels or people have to opt into pvp and if they do opt into pvp you give them heavy rewards and benefits for doing so like in new world the system is if you flag you once you're in town you can choose to flag for pvp if you flag for pvp you get a huge drop rate bonus and you get all this stuff like i wouldn't mind giving people like 30 or 50 percent drop rate um for flagging for pvp in a town but once you're flagged for pvp anyone can kill you you remove the karma system from the game there is no more karma at that point there's no more of that because the people that consented to pvp consented before they left the town um and then the people that don't consent to pvp can't be pvp'd unless it's a guild war yeah, they, like, they it's they literally that just through... that simple like i i, I mean I, they could do it by making half the channels arsha and then you opt in when you go on the channel you just go in and you're flagged up and you fight it like i, I think that that would kind of revitalize or revive those servers because there's already people going to those servers now to pve as bait for the pvpers but like that's i mean they kind of did that with arsha and anon arsha now people are going and splitting between those channels and fighting a lot i have a few friends that literally fight there all the time and or they'll just go to every grind spot do like a world tour will they gank everybody i don't know i think that um yeah they could completely remove it but i i completely agree with your um that your statement that i think they're waiting for the pve content they, they have like four or five things they're working on right now i think that post that they're gonna feel like they're maybe in a better position because exactly like you said what's the end game if not for pvp until they get these pve modes in i, I think that's 100 percent exactly the case because they are moving towards that i mean i don't even know if this is even necessary too because we have like the marnie realm we have five minute channel swaps we have ways to avoid it and i think that like you said exactly it's to stop the targeted sort of harassment or following or whatever and to make those penalties even worse you know because yeah. it's not just like people just wanting to run around and fight i mean like there's other content creators that do exactly that like Zeradin goes around on arsha he challenges people if they want to keep fighting to fight him if not he'll move on and like they'll just do different stuff like that and you know, there's ways to make it fun for yourself, I think. Um, I don't like the idea of having only PvE and only PvP servers. Mainly because I think that everyone is just on the PvE servers then, and it's just a, it's a zoo. I, I think that we already see how many people are actually interested. So? Yeah. I think we already see how many people are actually interested on gr in grinding on a server like Arsha. And, like, there's a reason that Arsha is basically deserted all the time. There's not enough of a reward. People don't see like the yeah, risk reward people... benefit. It's just not there well... and people don't want to deal with it. So like, I think that like, if you, if you ask any normal player, do you want to be on a PVP server and have like 50% drop rate? Or would you rather be on a PVE server where no one can PVP you? You can grind in peace. They're probably going to pick the PVE server every time, unless you jack that reward up so high that they can't get around it and then they are stuck in a situation where if they don't grind on the pvp server well then they're just griefing themselves because they're they've got 100 percent less drop rate right like so like i, I feel don't know. like if you have a system where like you only flag up in town you're just going to create like everybody unflagged and griefing each other anyways which would be a non-flagging channel in the first place like you would just have tons of people quote unquote not flagged up and then the flagged up people are like, oh, can I hit this guy? Nope. Oh, can I hit the next guy? Nope. Oh, can I hit the next guy? Versus you can consolidate all those players that want to fight into those the Arsha designated channels or whatever. I think you just have to have more than, what do we have, like two of them right now? Arsha and Anon Arsha. If you had like five, maybe ten, and then consolidate all the other channels that's not flagging, I think that could work. I think that I with a new world system, you create this weird problem where someone goes to like 50 grind spots and keeps trying to find people to fight and like, you know, he's run around and wasted all his buffs because there's no one wanting to fight versus if he knowingly goes to Arsha, he knows he's going to fight whoever's there on that channel. I feel like you create like a weird sort of limbo status. I definitely like those systems. I think it could work. I just think it's easier to just, again, consolidate, right? The reason why most people don't go Arsha right now, I feel like, is just because they do a world tour and they're out because most people don't want to go Arsha because they don't want to go get PvP'd because they want the PvE buff aspect, but they don't want to deal with the PvP versus... If we make it like a more standard thing that like we have a bunch of these channels, it's more of like you're hunting between those PvP channels to try and find someone to fight. And, but, you know, again, the thrill of the hunt, I think, exists there. I mean, I'm, I'll am i I'll admit it. I've definitely got on Arsha, and as soon as someone comes and finds me, I'm like, ah, you got me. Swap back over to normal. Ten minutes later, I swap back to Arsha. Okay, I'm on the cool channel now. Okay, I'm, oh, they found me again. Frick. You know, I, I think that that's, you know, a definite aspect that people participate in. Yeah, I mean, like, you end up with this... Like, okay, so I'm running a poll right now in my chat to kind of see where people are at. And um, so, guys, make sure that you you vote uh, on the poll so I can see where you're at. Would you rather have a full PvP server um, where, like, there's no karma uh, negative penalty for killing you, there's a 50% drop rate, 
Or would you rather just grind on a PvE server, no drop rate, and just be okay with that? I'm curious what the audience thinks about that, so I'll get back to you on that uh, there. But again, I think that if you make only PvP and only PvE servers, you kind of don't root out the main source of the problem. And then you end up with a lot of players. I guarantee you that the complaint is going to be, well, I feel like I have to grind on a PvP server because otherwise I'm griefing myself. Um, right? Like right now... I'll be honest with you, all Arsha is to 95% of people that are going to Arsha, all Arsha is, is a bag. That's yeah. all it is. I mean, that's the they're point. not that's going the bait. there. Could yeah, they're not going I, there to try to PvP. Yeah. There are two types sure. of people on Arsha. There's the PvPers and there's the P yes. people that want the bag. And most of I the time, agree. I will ride to a grind zone while I'm on Arsha. This is a pro tip. I'll be on Arsha before I leave town while I'm getting my church buffs and stuff. And then I'll ride to the grind zone. And I'll check and see if any of the rotations are open on Arsha. And if all the rotations are taken, I'll swap off Arsha and go to a normal channel. But if not, I'm just going to grind in peace on some backwater rotation with the 50% drop rate buff. But if anybody bothers me, I'm immediately going to swap. I'm not going to fight them. Yeah. Like, no, of course, of course. Most people. But I think. I think that's, again, that's the bait. Uh, like you bait PVEers to want that buff, see if they're willing to PVP at all. And if not, they swap back to a normal channel. I think that's like... Because otherwise, you're not going to get a bunch of PvPers going to Arsha to PvP PvPers. It's, I mean, that's what, essentially what the, the the game is. Otherwise, you'd queue up for RBF if you wanted to fight people that wanted to PvP. It's on occasion you do run up to a grind spot if you're a PvPer and you find someone and you're like, oh, okay, they res up and they do want to fight back or they really want to fight for their spot. I think that's that was like a core aspect of like a lot of the early game that I think a lot of those PvPers still reminisce on and they want that back, which I don't know if that'll ever really exist. It, it, some players do, some players don't like that. Uh, but I think that's the whole point is that it's the bait and and like making it an option again of like, I, I mean, I, I guess we're just uh, diametrically opposed where like I, we both, uh, you know, see it the other way. And I mean, you know, it, that's, it's just like an opinion. So I think it's like, okay to have those things to make those people go there. And that's the point versus like not having it in the first place is, you know, understandable. Um. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like if you separate only PvE and PvP servers, it doesn't fix the underlying system. There are some people in the audience that... True. Um, I don't know if you could ever fix it, because that's the core of the game, right? I mean, no, so much of the game is built it. upon that system, right? They're going to have to rework it. That's just a, that, I, that, that's I, just how it works, because right now... I'd love to, but... We're, we're, just, we're just piling down on the PvPers. They're just really grinding down on, like, the harassment and stuff. And to be honest with you, at a certain point, you start to punish people that aren't even doing harassment. Uh, and that's the biggest problem. So, like, yeah, at a sure. certain point, yeah. the, the system just needs to be changed um, to promote healthy amounts of PvP for people that want to PvP. Um, and the people that don't want to PvP shouldn't necessarily have to engage uh, in in PvP like that. Like, I know that mm -hmm. that's a hot take. I get it. Some people are like, no, you made a Black Desert on account. You knew what you signed up for. You should be able to be flagged for for PvP all the time. I simply think that that's super outdated. I think that in 2016, sure, that was doable because everybody was the same gear score and starting at the same time. Um, and like, it felt like you could catch up at a reasonable pace. Like, yeah, I mean, like it was very competitive back then. If you missed a day, you felt like you were behind, but like, really, you weren't that far behind. Nowadays, Bro, you get on Arsha and it's like 745 gear score um, Wusa in Awakening. Jaycoon, like you walk in, you're uh. just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grind today. And then Jaycoon, the bully that he is, comes in and flags and takes your spot. And there's nothing you can do about that because some because some dude with that's impossible gear Jake. score, the, some that's dude with some impossible imposter. gear score came in and just knocked you off the rotation. And that's he's he's got years on you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, you can hit 700 gear score in, like, what, three months, four months, um, if you're playing actively. But, like, hitting 745, having, hitting 750 like this, that's going to take you years, probably, uh, to do. Like, that's that's a lot. So, like, I don't know. The gap between players is pretty big. I think that you have to approach the game differently. I think the player base is also massively different than when the game started as well. And you kind of just have to play. Different. Yeah, you kind of have to just play, or you have to, like, push towards what your player base wants and in this case the vast majority of the player base is pve uh and or life skillers or just they, they just don't participate in pvp most of the time unless it's with like node wars or siege uh or they do aos right or they do like if, if you exclude people that do node wars siege aos and guild league you're talking about maybe two percent of the player base maybe and that's being generous that really likes to just flag up in a non-guild uh like guild war 
situation, flag up and run around and kill people. And this is a very small amount of the population that is going to be particularly upset about the karma change. But um, you want to be careful when you change stuff like this. I'm curious why they don't want to just change the system altogether. There are some people in the audience that also said that Blizzard might come after them if they copy that system. That's not true at all. A lot of the say a lot of the MMOs in the genre Nowadays take the same. That. Yeah, a lot yeah. of the MMOs in the genre, like the big name MMOs, all basically use essentially the same system. It's not copyrighted. They can't just like like say, oh no, that's our material. That's not how it works. Um, they could absolutely implement a system like that in Black Desert um, and make it work. And I'm, it's very obvious that the developers don't want people harassing people anymore because they realize that they're losing money and losing right. players because player harassment is happening. Um, yep. Why not just change the system instead of constantly just buckling down on the old one? Now you're just making the old veterans mad uh, and the new players don't really care that much. They don't read the patch notes. They don't know, right? So like, I don't know um i'm not really sure uh how to feel too much about the karma system but we have a bigger deal to talk about uh on the podcast today and that is the new pity enhancement mm. system and i just want to say that i took another w here um once again and blonde bear took the fattest l of his life so i'm gonna go ahead and let blonde start off and tell us why he thought that this system was absolutely not going to be a pity enhancement system and why it was going to kill the game. Blon, <laughs> why don't you give us your thoughts about the pity enhancement system that everyone else loves so much and that you hate so, so much. Go ahead. The way you threw him under the bus. Yeah, here we go. That's a, that's Straight under the bus like the, the well. dolphin and the boys. Just... That's, that, that is a lot of poisoning the well here. I didn't think they would do it in, in, in a guaranteed enhancement system. I thought PA was definitely um, <laughs> below that bar. I really, truly did not think that they would actually ar arguably do something good with the game. I really didn't think that they would oh. do that. I know people have talked about the enhancement system being one of the most frustrating things in the game that they deal with and they don't want to deal with it, mm -hmm. which you could just buy. But I, I, I was surprised. I really, truly didn't think it would be that. I thought it'd be like, a, oh, you get like a bonus percent that's basically guaranteed unless you're, again, incredibly unlucky. But... Yeah, I I, uh, I was surprised when I saw the Global Labs, and um, I was looking at the stuff, and I, I think it's going to be really weird that they didn't just let it be specific endgame gear, and they tried to do it across the board for everything, like Reblath and stuff. I feel like fail stacking is going to be kind of awkward for some things. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, I looked at the numbers and everything kind of... I saw some math in some different discords I was in, and they were like, the like chances of reaching 20 devo attempts failing whatever or however many black star attempts is like three percent of the total player base of like people that would click mm -hmm. right which is such an anomaly that it shouldn't happen in the first place and you know once you see the numbers once you see the math you know obviously for the first 24 hours i was like man this kind of sucks and, and that's more of again just my opinion of like i like the mystery of like you you know i've been grinding almost for almost 2000 hours i went in knowing it would be either dropping soon or never dropping and i accepted that and i'm okay with that um but i understand when it comes to like not feeling your progression and stuff like that it's a completely separate kind of thing and uh I, you know it looks like it looks pretty good i think it'll be all right it just feels bad i think if you're used to the old system and doing it like a transitionary state it's going to be like eh. but after 24 hours i was like yeah it's a pretty good system because it's like Again, it's it's the chances of it occurring. It's not like a it's not like you're getting it in five attempts, right? I feel like if it was like way less than the average, it would be something you'd be like really upset about or something. But you know, it being twenty attempts is like okay, like it, you got to give it to them. You know, who's this gonna happen to? Like, you know, again, the rare anomaly. So yeah, I mean, like I think I, it's actually good after reviewing the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I should have introduced the pity system. So guys, uh, if you have not heard, there is a pity enhancement system on the Global Labs that sh is set to release on main servers in the coming weeks. Here, um, should be in the next. I don't know, guys. Next what do you think? For us. Yeah. Next patch, really? That soon? It's announced. Uh, yeah, yeah. They've confirmed it. So Korea has it this week, and then we're confirmed to get it next week. It's okay. April 17th. So we are getting the pity system next week, guys. Um, and so essentially the game has been tracking since January. They've been working on this and they've been tracking mm -hmm. how many fails you have on every single enhancement in the game. And in cert uh, and at a certain point, um, it, the game will just give you the enhancement success without even consuming a fail stack because you failed so many times. Um, and that I was think really that, interesting. And I the think the non-consuming fail stack. Yeah, I think that this is just an objective W for the game overall. It does not affect the vast majority of players. I'm gonna keep it a yep. buck. Um, well, yep. it'll, it will affect every single player um, at some point in their account, 
they will take you to the pity system, right? Um, on one mm -hmm. thing or another, because you end up in one extreme at some point based on the law of averages, you're going to hit the extreme at some point. And what this does is it keeps people from going way over the edge. This is a big reason why people quit the game. I think they're trying to attack mm -hmm. points that have people quitting their game on a regular basis. Number one, yep. player versus player harassment is a large reason why some people quit the game. Um, like they just don't, like they felt like their guild was harassed into the ground, the guild died, and then they lost 60 players, right? Because all those players stopped playing the game. Like, um, I... To be honest with you, I find it hard to remember times when players have just stopped playing the game because of player harassment, but it absolutely happens. Uh, and more importantly, they the developers saw it in force when the Lost Ark people came over, um, and the developers were trying to hold on to some of those content creators. They got harassed into the ground, they left and went back to Lost Ark. Um, or they left and went back to other games. Um, which, I'll be honest with you, like as a content creator, that was going to happen anyway. Like, if you're keeping it a buck, like, they're they're not going to stay. Um, but that's not how the developers saw it. They saw it as, okay, we're actually just losing players. Because when you do lose big content creators like that, a lot less people end up playing the game. Because, like, a lot less people are introduced to the game. Like, as content creators, you stand up on a platform and you show, you're basically showcasing the game. Right? That's, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. um, and so the less big content creators that see the game, the less players that try your game and they make the most money off of those new players that are going to spend... You know, they're going to spend two, three hundred bucks in their first month on their tent and their season pass and their outfit and all this stuff, right? Like this, boom. Even if that player doesn't continue, and then if that player continues, you know, they end up spending more money down the line. But like, uh, I think the developers saw player harassment and they tried to crack down on it. Now they're seeing like, okay, what are they, what's another reason people like to quit BDO all the time? The enhancement system. That's a mm -hmm. big reason why people like I failed my pen devo 55 times. Something that Blonde Bear has never done in his life because he's never actually failed uh, a Debrek enhancement. So um, <laughs> I am I'm zero to 17 right now. <laughs> this I'm video so system is going to be making me big money. I'm so sorry. Zero oh. for 17, but you do have three pen devos, right? Oh, listen, that's not. What and the how many did the, how many attempts did those take you? <laughs> and that's many, not what the question was. And how many of those take you? How many attempts? Did that was not five total question. clicks, right? <laughs> Zero yeah. to 17 is what I'm at right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even at zero <laughs> and 17, because you got your other ones in five clicks, you're still way above the average, like flying high. Like you're literally God up on the no, mountain. No, I think it's top. about average, right? That's what, what, three out of 25? That's like. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, don't mm, yeah at me. No, yeah, yeah. get out of here. Uh, that's average, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's they, average. Average. <laughs> average. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's yeah. average, guys. Average. The law of averages, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's crazy. I, I too, would claim that I was average after one tapping my first three pens and then struggling for the fourth. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's how the numbers work. I'm just saying. When you, I think that a lot that's of people would love to though. struggle that way instead of the other way. But I think that, again, this is another attempt by the developers to kind of attack a point of the game that has people quitting a lot. Um, yep. So, like, Definitely. I think it's a huge W for the game overall. Blonde, I know that you had uh, special feelings about it before. Do you still feel that the pity enhancement system is bad for the game? Um, or that you, like, you think that, you know, people should struggle in this way, like, or that's part of the game in some way? Yeah, like I said before, I think it's just one of those things where even during like when the potions came out and people the pities were coming out, people like immediately thought, oh, they're going to do pities for the other treasures. And I don't know, there's like a little bit of panic when you um, change a system that people are used to. But as time progressed, everybody was like, okay, the potion change for pities was an objective W, right? The treasures yep. are a very separate item. The potions, this was a big deal and it was important. And it, it has proven that there's player retention from being motivated by getting these pity pieces to continue that system. So after seeing the result of those things, it's like, it's okay, I'm starting to believe. So yeah, the first 24 hours, I was like, man, this kind of sucks. And then I thought about it, and I was like, well, if it only happens to a very small percentage of the player base, and it's to help motivate players. And right. I talked to a lot of people since our last podcast, when we talked about I've talked to like at least five to 10 people about, um, you know, how they felt about the system. And some people are like, mm -hmm. oh, well, a lot of my PvP friends quit, and now they might be come to the game because they feel that progression, and they could see those numbers because they failed X amount of times. And yeah, if that if that leads to player retention, I, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, one hundred percent. So I felt a little sour like anybody would during a transitioning period of like what's feeling to stray away from maybe what you like, but it is, I agree, a, a good thing in the end to retain those players, yeah. Yeah. Um like I, so and Jay, you, you liked it too, right? We're Hi. we're basically all on the same page here. Like did you yeah. like uh, like how do you feel about it overall? No, yeah, I mean I think this was something that's like a natural thing in MMOs that 
they eventually introduce systems to make the game easier and accessible over time for whatever systems. And I do think this system is a good thing for the game. You know, there's there's a cap on being lucky in the game, which is, you know, one topping, right? And whereas there wasn't a cap on being unlucky until now with the system. Um, there were some comments in my chat about how this is going to affect the market. And, you know, for sure, this is going to help those the small percentage of people. But I don't think it's going to, you know, I don't think if, if they hit the pity, they're not, they're probably weren't going to make uh, profit anyways. Like if they, if that person hit the pity for them, they're most likely in that small percentage of people that the item was probably going to be used by that person rather than sold in the market. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to have too big of an impact the market. But um, now that the numbers are out, you know, I, I think for the most part, like I, I think the numbers are pretty fair for like, you know, 40, 40 for the um for the black stars 20 for the you know i think it's about double double or times two or times three like being unlucky on the average is is yep. like what do you think do you think it's fair for for all the numbers so far or is there anything that you could yeah it's like double the average right when you look at the numbers no, no, it's, it's like uh, on a 220 stack your average is 20 attempts on a pin black star crond or whatever and pent nebos are like between the seven to ten range this is just doubling those averages and again the chances you would even get that many fails in a row is so, so astronomical astronomically low. Yeah. That it's again to just exactly. help those players to know that like, oh my God, I only There's need three light. more clicks and I got it no matter what. Like exactly. I can do these last three clicks. You know what I mean? Like you got to think of the player mindset when you get past the, the average and you're like gloom and doom. You know, I know X Genet's at like 106 taps on his Black Star and it's like, I feel oh, bad man. for people that have been tapping for years and you know, this only is going back to January 1st, but I feel like they had to set some sort of date for it. But yeah, now we're, you know, I feel like uh, it does just look good overall. And players that maybe wouldn't be interested in the game can now look at it and be like, oh, okay, they have like a Lost Ark system. I mean, there's Lost Ark content creators I know that were kind of like, eh, kind of put off by that. And now they're like, you know, oh, oh, okay, this is kind of, I kind of like this, you know? The guarantee you... aspect in the back of your mind affects you in ways you don't know. I was going to ask, what do you think about the the pity number for the Pen Fallen God? Do you think people are actually... Okay, gonna try to hit uh, I do have or... something to say about that. I yeah, thought yeah. also that this, the the assistant enhancement helping system would be a transition to, okay, let's accelerate and push them, because they can always adjust these numbers, that's kind of a cool thing, uh -huh. I guess, is that they can always push the player by, by giving them a certain amount of attempts to get something guaranteed. Um, so I thought, oh, well, maybe they'll just let us hit all pen fallen god to introduce the new stage of the game where, oh, you need to be a little tankier or, oh, you're going to get a little more monster damage reduction or whatever. So I was like, oh, this will be like that stage. And then it was like zero out of a thousand. And I was just like sitting there like, what? What? <laughs> Why? What? It, 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 and also the fact that it's not on the new ring. Like they're not putting it on Debo rings. You can't use the hammer on Debo rings. I don't understand. Like if this is a system overall to help all players progress at all stages or... <laughs> I guess only at certain stages. I don't know why they, it wouldn't be straight across the board and it's only for some things. So this means that mm. every new piece of gear, there's going to be a window of time where they just are like, okay, like you could just go way over the averages, you know, and just, oh, that sucks to be you that you're ahead or it's like a, a silver sink for people that are ahead or whatever. I feel like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It should be just like all across <laughs> the board. If this is the way the system is, let it be that way. But you could argue that it's like a silver sink for the filthy rich and... I guess that's okay too. That's like kind of what I think the selling of the hammers was. You were literally pushing the wealth into the new player economy to get them silver to get their next black mm -hmm. star or pen armor upgrade to then move further on so they can get to the later stages. So I think that you mm -hmm. could kind of dice it up a few different ways, but oh, I thought yeah. that was Speaking interesting. Speaking of the hammers, like um, I was talking with someone last night about like how much silver has been sunk. And someone mentioned in my chat how on like an EU there's been like nine thousand trades yeah. of close the hammers. To nine. It's eight point so eight 9, when I checked 000... it today. So yeah, nine and close to nine. Yeah, like if if we multiply that just like baseline, like nine thousand times, let's let's just keep it simple. Thirty, right? Thirty um thirty bill. That's wait nine thousand times uh 30, twenty yep. is it twenty seven no two hundred seventy trillion. <laughs> I'm bad at math, but you know that's a lot of trillions of silver. Two hundred and seventy trillion. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. a lot of money a lot of money no. <laughs> um i will say yeah in so in eu i checked the trades for the hammer on eu it's 8.8 k today uh, a little later mm -hmm. in the day so closer to nine probably as we move forward uh, and there were about 2.4 k listed on the marketplace in north america there are only 5.3 k trades so like mm -hmm. honestly like like what 60 percent or 50 percent um like uh, pretty low uh, and there's still 2.5k on the marketplace so 
but this tells us overall is that there was a lot more silver kind of floating on eu but also that i think mm -hmm. that eu players were probably floating um much more silver probably because they don't ever get crown stones um so like i expect mm -hmm. that to be honest um overall and i think it's a huge w for my eu account i'm waiting for the the stock to run out I'm waiting for the price to go. The price will go up on these. Um, they're going to sell out at min price. And I think that what this does is it keeps people's banks really low. Um, at mm. least like the high-end uh, banks. Really. I know Biohack probably bought Lord knows how many hammers um, for his <laughs> account, right? Um, so like, I don't know. I still agree with the hammer. I think it was an objective W. I think the pity enhancement system uh, is one of the biggest Ws that the developers have come up with in a very, very long time. Uh, I have definitely super happy about that and it's not just because every time i click manos i want to die inside a little bit um it's because oh yeah the fact did you sorry no go ahead i was just gonna say didn't they say it was gonna be for that stuff too right yes like where, where we can chron it or Thank whatever goodness, that dude. is also mm. yeah. insane it only I think goes that... back to Dan january so like i'm not gonna get all my yeah. my yeah. stuff I'll take it. But I don't care. That's I'll take yeah. That's it. a that is a W. I, uh, gear enhancing, grinding, PV stuff, whatever. All that other stuff though, that shit sucks. And that is amazing that it's happening for the like all that other stuff. I mean, even isn't it on boat gear and everything too? Like I don't know. I yeah, all that stuff looks amazing. I thought that was really cool. I was like, oh my god, like life skillers getting something for them. <laughs> hey, hey, let's that's go. crazy, bro. They that's didn't crazy. forget about us. That's amazing. Insane. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, and then they also said that they. Black Desert Online official YouTube um, put out a video today uh, that basically stated hmm. uh, all of the updates that they plan to bring for the month, which I thought was an interesting way. Honestly, it's like Mini an roadmap. interesting way of yeah, yeah. communicating with us. Mm -hmm. I really like really that. Cool. Um, so Same. like we should all like give it a thumbs up and like do that because like if they did that every month, we'd actually know what we were getting this month, and it wouldn't be That'd just be like good. hey blue. Uh, when are we getting this? And I'm anywhere between now and next January. You know what I mean? Like, I have no idea. Um, but like, they gave us the roadmap and they did say on the roadmap that we are getting combined life skills, um, Let's go. this month. Yes. Uh, and we're already mm -hmm. like, you know, almost 10 days into the month at this point. Uh, so the 24th, I believe. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm curious with the combined life skills. Have they confirmed? I think originally they said that they were just going to add up all of our, different characters and just like boom there's your total life skill level yep. but like then i, I heard some conflicting of, yeah yeah then i heard some conflicting reports so like uh, is that how it's going to be i i, the only I, way I, I can saw imagine that video it. too and they literally worded it as the sum of your life skills so i'm pretty sure that means they're adding all the life skills together but if you're already i'm assuming if you're already capped on like if you're guru 50 on one character then you won't go past guru 50 of course oh, what if they introduce new caps to this that'd be kind of cool they increase it further than Guru 50, you mean? Yeah, because I feel like it'd be such know. a waste for players that did hit cap on certain things. Hey, Blonde, if they're going to do that, so they, they got to get more than 2k mastery. And I swear to God, at this point, wouldn't that be I, awesome? just, I just started hmm. hitting 2k mastery. Wouldn't it be cool Blonde? if we had like a no, real actual progression cool. system instead of it just being like, get 1600, get 2000. Okay, everything below that, you're just trolling. It would <laughs> not be cool. Wouldn't that be great? You know, feeling like, oh, I've hit 1600. Finally, I can access this new cool thing, you know, like almost like gear score cool if we had that mm. yeah it like, would oh, not... i reached 700 gear score can access the new thing yeah i i don't think One that day. it's gonna uh affect too much of the the life skill like i think 2k mastery is reasonable i think they should just buff how much life skills are actually giving um like money wise i, I think that I think it, the combination's if... insane that the, the fact that they're so i think i have like literally five characters because i forget which ones they are that have like what is it artisan alchemy because every time i move a new character i'm like oh shoot i need alchemy to craft blue elixirs well, I needed to, right? <laughs> Not anymore. But like, I would like, oh, who can craft this? Oh, I can't do this with a beginner. Who? Which one do I need? So I had to power level five different characters because I forgot which one they were. Now that is completely gone. Or maybe I want to go sailing, but I want to go on my main because I have a cool costume and I want to dance on the ship while they're doing, you know, while they're driving it, while I'm just AFK. Like that'd be like, I can't do any of that. Or I want to pick up something or gather something or chop some tree because I'm next to it. Like the fact that like you had to do very specific stuff to hop through those loops this is like actually really cool i, I like that a lot mm -hmm. um i don't know, like yeah i mean like the, the what blonde is very painfully going to find out is that even having 26 characters with artisan 5 alchemy really only means that you're like master one alchemy uh when you combine hey, them together because that's how alchemy I don't works need to be high. i just needed it's to be combined tragic, okay? uh, when i just need to be able to access it on any character okay how little that is <laughs> um yeah i mean and like the 
the biggest stuff. implications of the combined life skills i'm sure we'll talk about it more uh when it comes back but like uh, i mean when it when it finally happens but like what are some of these implications of combined life skills i'm personally excited for 20 second tap time on every character even if i make a new character I have 20 second tap time in large scale PVP and I don't have to worry about it. And I also, the what biggest quality time? of life tame, I can just hit auto sprint on every character in the game. Oh yeah. And just click what does auto sprint. Time I, mean? I would say when you repair the node war fort, um, you got you can repair those? repair time. Oh. Blonde, you were in a siege <laughs> guild for like two years. Yeah, we always sat in years. castle. I was just on the wall, okay? I was just on the wall. I shot a cannon. I didn't ever have to do anything else other than that. It was a good time. <laughs> oh my god yeah so you can repair the forts that's pretty cool yeah <laughs> yeah i suppose that that's mm -hmm. pretty cool um like okay but like what i guess i'm the only life skiller in the call so i'm not gonna get very much out of you guys but like honestly <laughs> quality like of life guys uh, sprinting is so cool. Yeah. And, <laughs> you and I have so characters stupid. that have way Jesus. more weight, and I get to do alchemy on them now. I have characters with only 700 weight. You know how hard it is to do alchemy for more than five minutes with only 700 LT? That's impossible. <laughs> now I can do it on I my main. Still, I still might um, do all my life skills on at least most of it on at least one character. For, you know, because cooking and alchemy, right? That my weight on my witch, like I have max weight on my witch, so I'd still probably prefer to do it on that. But definitely, like, let's say I'm wanting to do um bartering or something, and then my corsair is useful because she gets a little bit of extra stats there. I think I can use my um my striker to to hunt because it has OP passive for 20% yeah. crit rate and stuff like that. So it's going to be useful for that. Farm flipping, I don't have to run all the way over there to oh my, my God, farms anymore. Yes. I can just leave an alt over there. So definitely a lot more yes. saving time. Saving time Let's stuff is what I'm mostly going to be. You don't, have a, yeah. you don't have a farming alt? No, I just run over there with my... Uh, well, okay. What? I don't have a farming alt because I started farming what? on my witch. What? And I have old, I have oh, old no. moon farms... Right, and Spend you can't $20 farms and get an alt. Non -alt You've played this game for seven years, Jay. You can't spare $20 to save yourself uh, countless yeah, hours of time of running warning. across the map to do running, your, uh, yeah. your farms. What is going on? There's well, okay. no shot. Like my witch is not my main grinder anymore, so it's it's been a lot easier because I leave my witch in Heidel and my farm's on Velio, so I just run over back to Velio. But it's it's not you, a big of a deal, but you run all the way to Velia and then back to Heidel it's every time you it's do your far. farms. Well, okay. Here's the thing: it's it's fast because I have a spare T10 on my on my on my witch. So oh, must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> must be nice being one of the high class people with an extra T10. Hmm. Yeah, I have a spare T10 Pegasus, so I wow. just run my witch and she must gets live. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is why you both get flamed in the comments constantly. The trick is to, again, be one of the people that just never gets carried on anything. The trick is to just not succeed on anything in life um, and just be a complete parental disappointment all the way through, and then you don't get flamed in the comments. You know, back to those comments, there were some nice people in the comments that were like, why is everybody ganging up on Blah Bear? Hey, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> As much as I do downloaded. appreciate the people having differences in opinion in the comments, and I do appreciate the engagement and feedback, you guys don't have to comment. Hey, don't be mean. I asked no, for do it. Comment, I, I literally we need that engagement. No. We need yeah, that what are you doing, doing comment, What is this? Criticism like... and feedback, and say something positive about what you think, <laughs> rather than hey, don't be mean. I Blonde. appreciate the thought. Blonde. Stop. I'm just, I'm just stop saying you they right could say there. something else. Jay they has the like... right idea here. Okay. <laughs> Jay actually knows how to promote himself and conduct himself oh when I ask God. himself to shout him out. Okay. You, I ask you to shout you out and you're like, I like parties. Okay. I That's like all we get out of you. All right. And now I you're like, like, guys, stop commenting on the video. And both Jay and I are like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. I just, We're trying no, no, to like no. put out a fire the... with our feet. Like, shut up, shut up, shut up. I just don't want them to comment that they need to stop defending. It just provided opinion about what you thought i said unless they they don't want the flack which i totally understand because those other ones got down they got heavy down thumbs down that was they were all the way at the bottom i had to scroll real far <laughs> so oh there was uh one thing i wanted to uh touch on um back on the pity system is that 
do you guys think eventually so now that they're adding chronable life skill accessories and armor do you think we'll be able to cron alchemy stones in the future please god why is this not the system not changed why is it not changed yet it doesn't make any sense and what is it hugh said he asked jay at the ball this is like one of the most archaic systems in the game that has never ever changed i think they've changed everything in the game at this point except for just the alchemy stones and amity I think those are the only two things mm. they've never touched in this game, and it blows my mind. They did, like, what, the skip feature for Alchemy Stones, like, a few months ago? Because they were like, oh, people still do this? Don't you guys know you could just get a Vel? <laughs> like, and then they just, like, completely were like, ah, back in the trash closet where it goes. Like, what the heck? This is crazy. <laughs> and people, it's not like people don't talk about this. People are asking about this all the time, and they're just like, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what? Which system are we talking about? Are we talking about Amity? Al Alchemy. Alchemy oh. Stones. Oh, like oh Alchemy Stones. Yeah. I love Amity. Yeah, Don't touch Amity. Or... Leave Amity alone. Amity did nothing wrong. <laughs> Well, I don't what? think Amity is like broken or anything. Amity is awesome. <laughs> Amity is one of the most specifically unique things that nothing else in any game is ever like it. Most systems have like a wave at the NPC or do a little chat dialogue and whatever, and you get W points. This game system, hmm. I don't know if you've how intricate you've gone to the Amity system, but it, there's like multiple levels of things you have to reach. You also need knowledge from all the different things in the game that you have to go and talk to for different NPCs that, that then access more types of conversations to then talk about. Out so you can evolve the conversation mm. and spark their interest the system is also, wildly complex and it's actually press F5 really cool. to wave at the npc no no, no. Just... Okay, let's all <laughs> shut like, up for a moment you can... hold on can we just take a moment to appreciate why blonde is going to get flamed in the comments this week um because the amity game has to be one of the worst systems in the history of black desert and whoever thought it up should be fired it, it is, is so literally unique. so it is outdated. the coolest unique, unique system in the equals game equals bad it is terrible <laughs> and the reason just, i state no. for the record what right, the reason i know it's terrible uh -huh. is because there isn't a single player in the game that really uses the amity system on a regular basis that isn't trying to get one particular thing from an npc and then they're done with this terrible amity game and then they never go back to it again <laughs> it's not like anybody I, wakes up today in the morning and they're like god i can't wait to do the amity game today I no one king does I that did. it's terrible no no you didn't blonde stop I, kidding I, yourself back, okay I, I don't know if you guys remember because this is like ye olden days like first six months of bdo ye the only days. way to get a a weapon that literally did more damage to humans which would increase your pvp damage was to talk to someone in calpheon do their amity game and then with amity points like it's you terrible. know in the game you can buy so certain things so like you literally had to play it to get the best in slot weapon at the time which is crazy mm -hmm. you may not like the system and like the rewards and benefits because they it's just one of those old things they just haven't touched in like a million years because no, nobody no. really cares no, no. I think it's really cool. It's 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 unlike anything in any other game I've ever seen. I've never seen a system that does what this does. The the way it functions mm. is cool. Maybe like how it like actual and practicality is sucks, but the system itself is wholly unique and unlike anything else. There's actually a uh, one NPC in particular that I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of us did Amity for was actually Wasn't there an event. Yeah, yeah you know what we did? Requires, she uh... was a cheap she was a cheap date. You just waved at her a few times and yeah, she you put out. Better, yeah. That's all it was, okay? Like I that's it. You just kept waving at I her. You know why? Because you're a, you're um you're I told avoiding her about my the terrible Amity game. I told her about the monsters I've slain and the, the people I've met and I shared my adventures I see. with her. I oh her. my god, I actually I mean, almost yawned when he tried um, to say it. Get a longer version of the crit crit buff if we actually talk to him. <laughs> hey, that would be no one cool. has tried. Hey. <laughs> Everyone got exactly twenty five amity and gave up. Okay. I, I think it's definitely That's one of those systems where people will always optimize the fun out of it. And I think that yeah, if there's a button where I can press one button, or I could have like a complex puzzle game added to it, I think people will just press the one button. Yeah, it's just it's just natural. Whether or not it's <laughs> as rewarding for the effort you're putting in. Yeah, I guess I could see it that way. But yeah, I think it's just so unique com uncompared to anything else. I I'd never played any. It's like it's a puzzle game 
the, unlike anything else. I, 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 if anybody knows any other game systems and other games like that, I'd love to know. It's not a puzzle system. It's, it's, it's it literally, is, it's, it is because every joke. individual conversation, you are influencing them in, in certain points and they go up and down. And depending on how many points of influence you have, you then can have a conversation that, again, the objective is either spark their interest, not spark their interest, or talk freely with them and gain a bunch of points. And you can literally, depending on that meter, influences the conversation topics to have more or less point values that then have combos that say okay after four conversation topics you actually are going to get double points for the next three things or after a few conversation topics you're just going to get a flat amount of points like there's a lot of really cool intricacies to it there's just no benefit to it and it's just kind of a nonsensical system it's not integral you figure out how it's it works you understand really cool. how the point like the you understand how it works and then you, you do it the same way basically every time you just kind of it's like it the game, the game tells you what you want and then you bam 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 you're done bam 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 you're done that's it sucks and if you don't yeah. know the game you're basically just guessing the entire time and it sucks it's a horrible yeah. system it, the rewards it, are terrible if they rework it they have to rework the entire system even when when the game started everyone hated doing the amity game like literally i remember blade bow quest that's we're going blade style that's how far back blade i'm going style. right now okay <laughs> blade bow quest used to make guys he'd be like guys i know you don't like the amity game but this is how you do it and you have to do it with this npc in calpheon uh because this is how you get this rosar whatever or this is how you get that or this is how you get this and everyone hated it every time someone was forced to do the amity game for anything it was just miserable yeah i think you're forced to do the amity game i think one time during the main story and you know what the the new players do they just throw darts against the wall until it works <laughs> okay because the system is not intuitive it's not fun and they don't want to come back to do it again that's how you know it's a bad system it's like it it just because it's unique doesn't mean it's good you're right it is unique there is no system that is quite as garbage as this one is I, when you're talking to an npc <laughs> they really have butchered conversation I, with npcs to a level that like they didn't even want to add voice lines i would love to hear voice lines and stuff too you know what would make amity interesting let's just remove all the other shit and all this guesswork crap and let's have the npc give you a prompt and then if you answer correctly based on like seven responses um uh and you answer correctly based on seven responses or something like you, it'll give you another prompt and then you can go to another one and you actually have to know lore and stuff um then you actually have to know stuff about the game and you can have a conversation and the npc should talk to you verbally oh my god with like voice GPT. acting oh my god what shut your mouth your chat yeah, we'll cool, talk about but... that in a minute um i think like, it's one of those things where it's like it's a puzzle game and a game that we're not here to play puzzles so a lot of people are just disinterested in it I, I still i still think i think it's really really incredibly cool i think it could be even developed even more to exactly what you're saying too it's just that it just wasn't liked so they just completely were like okay nobody likes this we're taking that yeah, they should they could just remove it from the game tomorrow and everyone would be like who no that would be terrible i, I just the think it's one of those things and this is like i think when players react to mmos in general it's like if something is at all annoying frustrating or just doesn't rub them the right way i feel like it's already like oh we don't like it i don't want this and then like devs will see that and they'll be like ah oh, man that really sucks it's a cool system and they could have developed it better if people showed more enthusiasm but yeah, I feel like chat. when you when you go into an automatic negative sentiment, I feel like you're just going to have that opinion. It's going to shape the community side, side of opinion. And then, like, the devs are going to be like, oh, man, they really hate this system. And it's like, it could be better. Like, no, hey, no, Blonde? no, please don't look at it that way. Blonde Chat actually brought up a good point. Do you know my favorite yeah. thing about jigsaw puzzles? Is the no, RNG I, that goes into them. puzzles? Yeah, my favorite thing about puzzles in general is the RNG that goes into them. I think it is I really cool. like, every time, Yeah, every time I you like talk to them, it's like knowing, a dice roll. No, no, no. I like knowing how to solve a puzzle and then realizing that I did the puzzle correctly only to be punished because RNG is a bitch. Yeah, I mean, there's a dice roll, right? Like, that's actually how the conversation works is you use all the right puzzle pieces depending on the topic she's requesting you, and then you also dice roll on Blonde, top of that. it was a joke. I think that's really cool. No one likes that's, that. That's no really cool. one. No like one that. likes the I'm, Amity game. Well, when it no comes to one likes games, it. I'm Even a really if you have it figured so it I, out. I actually like that. I'm Even really if you have it figured it out. <laughs> Even if you I, have I, it figured I out. I like it. Holy you should play more moly. Board games. There's some really good board games that you'd probably like based on these same <laughs> yeah, systems. Yeah, Monopoly. They should make a board game of the enemy system in media. <laughs> that would be cool. It would be the it least. Would be Honestly, game. it would sell about as many copies as Shadow Arena did as a standalone <laughs> game. I would say that that I would do it. just about as well. 
I think Shadowrun had more players in BDO than out of BDO. <laughs> no sh blonde. No kidding. They shut the servers <laughs> down. You're like, man, I bet I bet there were more people playing Shadow Arena than can't when it was part of the game. No man, kidding, it's blonde, totality, huh? I'm saying. I think that's true, yeah. Even for the thousands of players BDO, mm. I think they had probably less than that in the Shadow Arena. You know, they, they actually um made a Shadow Arena, or rather a um what is it called? Battle Royale game in WoW. Recently, they had yeah, a the new the Battle Royale. pirate thing. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Mm. So much hate, yet so many people are playing it and loving it. What, the Battle Royale? Yeah, there There's was so many people being like, mm -hmm. what the heck? And then everybody else was like, why are we freaking out? Just play it and have fun. <laughs> Wait, there's a Battle there's a battle Royale in yeah. World of Warcraft? They just introduced yeah, they it, added yeah. it. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. You can do but like wait, duos but wait, they added cool. it inside the game, right? It's not like this new game yeah, on Steam. Game, yeah. It's not like yeah, a standalone game. Yeah. And everybody hated it, and then they they changed their mind and they liked it after a minute. Mm -hmm. They can still cool. add Shadow Arena back, guys. They can yeah. still add it back. They I hope they do. I hope they do. There's yeah. no reason they shouldn't. Like, it, it's probably just a mode they just have to turn back on again, right? They didn't delete all the files. Like, surely, they definitely probably should. in there somewhere. Surely, yeah, and, surely. I mean, it's yeah. in the Magnus. <laughs> yeah. Like, um. Okay. Um, all right. I've said, I've spoken right. enough on it. I've, I've grilled blonde <laughs> enough about the Amity system. I can't believe we got on such a tangent that we went into Amity. I literally wrote <laughs> node war changes on the current topic. And then we ended up talking about Amity. My editor's going to have a field day. Like, love, Where are the I node love wars? Video, man. I like, there's so <laughs> many things in this game that are unlike a lot of MMOs that are so unique. I, and I've experienced, I think almost everything except for tapping a fort. I never heard of that before, but, uh, oh. I think it's cool. I love this. I love this game. Yeah. Um, I love BDO. I love okay. BDO. Let's yeah. do, yeah, let's do, yeah, I hate this game. Um, let's do <laughs> closing thoughts uh, on a podcast. We started with Blonde last time. Let's start with Jay this time. All right. Closing thoughts is that Pity System W, let's go. Um, pity System for Alchemy Stones, maybe, or Chronicle Alchemy Stones, please. And uh, yeah, you can find me over at Jaykun VT, Viva for the T. Okay, and my boy <laughs> Blonde. This time he's got it. Hello, I'm Blonde Bear. You can catch me on Twitch.tv slash Blonde Bear, where I'm grinding Olin's until I get that merchant ring piece. Um, yeah, uh, I think that the overall the pity system is going to be an objective W. During transitionary periods, it's just going to feel bad because you're used to something old or used to something different. And I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be okay. And if they keep making improvements that, you know, people like then you know we'll get more players and it'll be more fun so, yeah no yeah. no i completely agree i think that i love we heckin love bdo we heckin love watching blonde get flamed in the comments mm -hmm. every week um <laughs> my favorite part of the whole week to be honest with you uh i am blue squadron there is always something happening on this channel there's always two new youtube videos every day guys um whether it's guides react videos podcasts patch note rundowns um vod reviews um gear help you name it um we do basically we do basically everything so uh make sure you guys check out uh my discord as well it's a super active discord there's typically always people sitting in voice there's always people there to help you uh and you can ping me relentlessly with your memes uh which is always a huge w um if you guys are listening to the podcast, you guys are fans of the podcast, again, make sure you have uh, comments down below the podcast. We always read those. Uh, tremendously fun to read. Whether you're supporting Blonde or supporting Jay or supporting me or dogging on me or, or Jay or Blonde, we'd love to hear those comments um, down below the video. Uh, we also have the, spot, the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts every week, guys. Uh, so make sure you hit the follow button there so we know you're interested and you listen on those platforms. It is content that is basically made so that you can listen to it at work uh, or while you're on the go, uh, basically in your everyday life, you can listen to what's happening in Black Desert Online. From all of us here at the Old Moon Podcast, have a great rest of your week, guys.